It's been like a roller coaster. <laughs> Their classrooms have been empty for weeks, but teachers have been working harder than ever. In March, teachers and students alike were informed their schools would be closing and would have to find new ways to learn. Teachers across many levels of education were given only a week to figure out how to deliver lessons. The transition to home learning can be described with one word, fast. And we had to um, make decisions quickly and we've had to um, act quickly. And for some teachers, this meant learning something new themselves. Um, I have learned a lot of technology that I would not normally use in my classroom, but it's been super positive to have such a collaborative staff and to be able to ask questions and to kind of troubleshoot things with them before giving it to our students. So It hasn't been an easy time for teachers having to adapt to new learning tools, but some are saying the results are positive. And we um, have successes every day and we um, get more kids on board each day and we are helping families each day. So This could also lead to parents being better equipped to assist their child's learning. So if there's a concept that they're struggling with or if there's if they were gone for a week on a holiday or they were sick, how can they how can parents be comfortable helping with their child at, helping their child at home and know classrooms like this one will have to remain empty for most likely the rest of the school year. Students will have to adjust to learning from home even if it does take a while. For State News File, I'm Darren Bain.